Citizens Bank is offering an opportunity for increased savings and investment. Chief Executive Officer Karen DeBasi explains that their main shareholder, the government, wants to involve more of the public in the bank's ownership. As you know, government is the majority shareholder of the bank. Uh, in 2017, they did the IPO, the initial public offering, and sold down a portion of their shares. And then another uh, portion was sold off in 2017. This is quite frankly part of the government's revenue raising measures for this financial year. The reason the shares are being sold by the shareholder is uh, to, to supplement his revenues as part of his budget for this fiscal year. Mr. Basie says that the target customer is everyone across society and there is no minimum number of shares which can be purchased. Indeed, the Minister of Finance asked that anyone applying for 2,000 or less shares should be facilitated to get the full allocation. The First Citizens CEO says it's a good savings opportunity with not only competitive share price increases but also quarterly payments. First priority is to individuals, and then there is a stated uh, policy, um, which is available in a prospectus, as to what percentage of the shares are available uh, for credit unions, uh, for pension funds and mutual funds and insurance companies. Uh, there is an allocation uh, made available uh, for the National Insurance Board, but the very clearly stated intent is to try and get as many individuals. And it's a really good savings opportunity. Ms. Dabasi said the dividend yield is 3.9% and she is urging investors to make the most of the offer as it will end next Friday, July 22nd.